Making an indie game takes a ton of time and effort, especially if you said making your game fun as one of your goals. So today I'm gonna show you what new and exciting things I added to my indie game, make adventures around the world in the highly anticipated Alpha 0.3. But I'll also show you ways in which you can make the long wait for an update exciting to keep your future customers interested in your project. As previously mentioned, it's been a long time since the last number of updates. Heck, 3 months since the last video on the matter. If you were to have joined my Discord server, however, look at the description, you will have known this actually isn't the case. I've been working real hard to make Alpha 0.3 a big step up from any other update I've made before, mainly because most of those updates didn't even really make any impact whatsoever. I mean, I bet you don't remember version Alpha 0.2.2 at the rain stage. But enough rambling around, what does Alpha 0.3 change to be memorable? A lot. Quite a lot. First off, the game controls significantly better and a better go I ran the platforming test experiment so people would give me feedback on what they liked and disliked about the physics of Round the World. Most people say they really liked everything, apart from specific things like bugs or not being able to alter your jump height if you hold down the jump button. But for the most part, it was a success and something had to go haywire, didn't it? During my experiments, I found this speed charge to be quite buggy, so I completely scrapped it. I liked the move, but I couldn't find a way to make it work with the engine or the level design or anything for that matter. So I just made it again, but good. Mid the Hydro Charge, a completely new move exclusive to 0.3 on. It works similarly to the speed charge in the sense it launches you forward, but is completely different and better in everything else. Now, instead of just pressing the sub action button, you charge the move with the same button. This sounds like a downgrade until you hear that depending on how long you press the button, the farther the hydro charge lets you go. Oh, and I forgot, you can bend your hydro vertically or horizontally for more precise movement, and if you bump into an enemy, you can fly in the opposite direction, or just say, no stranger robot, heck you, and you smash through the bot. But you don't care about little Timmy's big, super big guy. You would like to know how to keep your audience hyped for your game, right? There are many ways to do this, but the one I'll talk about is regularly working on your game and regularly updating your fans on everything that you think would be cool to show in like a Discord server or your newsletter. The more you update people, the better, but don't get me wrong, you shouldn't update your folk about everything, after all, a post solely about your game getting one bug fix isn't as exciting as new artwork or new features, new levels, new characters, details, etc. Make your updates feel special, just how special I hope 0.3 is. 